Hi, you guys. Welcome to Rapturous House Tarot. My name is Tanya. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo's finances uh, for the end of the month of June to the be to the beginning of the month of July. So this is Virgo and finances. We're going to pull a few Oracle messages from the Southern Oracle deck. Then we're going to clarify with the journey tarot. Again, this message is going to be for Virgos and finances. And this is going to be here for the month of June through the month of July in Virgo finances. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Please leave comments letting us know how these messages resonate. Give us positive and negative feedback. We welcome all. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. So we're getting a lot of uh, rainy, rainy weather, current, present moment. So we're going to cover for the end of the month of June to the beginning of the month of July. This is Virgo Finances. Show us, Holy Spirit, what we need to see for Virgo's finances. This is Virgo Finances. All right, let's see what we have. We have plenty of cards. So we have, go get it. It says fixing to, go get it. Required and inspired action. Now is the time, readiness, follow through. Then we have chicken with its head cut off. Very busy, overwhelmed, frenzy, deadline, stress, chaos, refocus, and redo for best results. And then we have, it's blowing up a storm, strong momentum, sudden change, necessary shakeup, transformation, and hope. All right, you guys. So, go get it. Required and inspired action. Now is the time. I feel like, I feel like this is saying that this is the time to focus on your finances. This is the time for you to go after your dreams. Um, this is the time for you to be ambitious. This is the time where if you have creative new ideas, you need to follow through with them. This is the time for you to start that new project. Start that new small business. It's saying that now is the time and you're going to be very busy. There may be times where you're going to be stressed. There may be time where you need to refocus. But it's saying that there will be a sudden change, a necessary shakeup. There's going to be a necessary process here. It, it's telling you to do it. Go for it. There is going to be times of frenzy. There's going to be times of stress. But it's going to be very fulfilling. There's going to be a transformation. And it's strong momentum, sudden change, necessary shakeup, transformation, and hope. It's saying for you to keep going. It also came out was God don't like ugly. Spite grudge. It's, I feel like it's saying that there's going to be people that may not respect your decision to start a new endeavor. There's going to be people around you that may not be wishing the best for you. Be careful with that, okay? Then we have Swamp Angels, Nuisance, provo 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 Provocation. Gossip, hassle, freeloading opportunists. Be careful for, for those people that will be look, seeking to freeload off of you. Somebody is an opportunist. You got to be careful about the people around you. You have great new ideas. You need to act on them. But there's also people around you that may gossip. They may not actually be there supporting you somebody's gonna be trying to freeload there's gonna be a lot of gossiping it's telling you to be aware of that it's raining cats and dogs temporary intensity surrender this too shall pass release cleansing you gotta release it's telling you to release what no longer serves you whether that be a job a career an individual that's within your your space you want to keep that momentum. You want to keep a positive momentum. You want to keep a peaceful environment. 
now it's telling you now is the time if there is a new endeavor a small business or a new project that you would love to work on this is the time it's telling you this is the time for you to focus on that it's telling you that there will be people who will not see what you see and you may have to rid yourself of that person you may have to separate yourself from those who don't have the same dreams and desires as you but it's telling you it's going to work out in your favor this this change will bring true abundance true happiness true fulfillment all right let's see what else we got for you guys and this reading is for virgo and finances for the end of june beginning of july so so far what we have is us virgo we're going to be starting we're going to be starting whatever new projects whatever new thoughts whatever new jobs whatever new small businesses we're going to start that and we're not going to care about the gossip or the people who don't believe in us um all that will pass it's telling you that you might need to cleanse your circle you might need to let go those who don't see what you see all right shows what we need to see for virgo when it comes to virgo's finances for the end of the month of june into the month of July. This is Virgo and finances for the end of the month of June to the beginning of July. This is for Virgo finances. Virgo finances shows what we need to see for Virgo's finances for the end of the month of June to the beginning of July. We have six of wands all right now we're getting started six of wands is success that's a lot we're gonna not take that but let's see what we got here we got five of wands we have nine of cups and we have two of wands so i see you have two paths you can go on I see victory. There may be competition, but I see fulfillment. This nine of cups is an overflow of abundance. There may be competition, there may be conflict, but you know what? These Oracle messages told us this. There may be someone here that does not want you to succeed I see victory. I see abundance. I see that you will have to make a decision. And you may have to make a decision to let some let people that do not see your vision go to go after what you what you want. There's not not everybody's going to go on this journey with you. But you want to be prosperous. You want to be abundant. You want to be happy. You want the happy life. You want all that God has to offer you. So I'm sorry, but you may have to cleanse yourself of people, of their negativity. And you may have to go after what it is that you want. If you want to be abundant, you want to be prosperous, you, you don't want to work paycheck to paycheck. You want to take care of your family. You want to build that new home. You want to go on the vacation. You want to not stress about when bills are due. I see that it's coming to you. But what I do see is that it's gonna require you to work for it. It's gonna require you to take action. This fixing to, it says, go get it. Go, go do what you need to do right now. There is strong momentum, sudden change. There's going to be a necessary shakeup. There's going to be people that you're going to have to let go. There's going to be people, or there's going to be people that if, if those people are lazing around, do you want to be amongst that? Lazing around ain't going to get you paid. I can tell you that much. You're going to be busy. I feel like from the end of starting the end of starting this week at the end of June through the month of July, you're going to be busy. 
You need to start that new project, start that new business. You're gonna be abundant, you're gonna be happy. There's gonna be a major transformation, but there are go there's going to be someone or some people that may not be going along for the ride with you. There's gonna be people talking. They're gonna talk about you. People always talk, they talk about Jesus. But, but you need to do what you need to do so you can be prosperous. This reading is for Virgo's finances, the end of the month of June to the beginning of the month of July. You guys, let me know. Let me know what's going on. Thank you. This is Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. Leave me comments. Please like, share, and subscribe.